Scientists using a deep sea camera trap captured some remarkable video of a shark biting down on what it thinks is prey. This six gill shark in the waters of the Osprey Reef near Australia's northeast coast senses what it thinks is a meal. But scientists from the Queensland Brain Institute have set out a fish head as bait with a remote control camera. The shark tries its best to dislodge the bait and struggles but is unable to break it away from its anchor, some 4,600 feet below the surface of the Coral Sea. This video capture was part of the Deep Australia Project, an effort to discover the evolutionary origins of human sight. The sixgill is often referred to as prehistoric because of its resemblance to sharks that lived hundreds of millions of years ago. It's interesting to researchers because of its night vision and ability to overcome both crushing depths and freezing and deep dark waters. The six gills reach up to 13 feet in length, and this is just one of several deep sea species never before filmed at these depths. Okay, so six gills used to be in Puget Sound in great numbers um, from 2000 to 2008, and now the last couple of years, the occasional six gill you've seen here and there, but not nearly the, the abundance they were before. Um, well, the problem today with six gill sharks is that they're not here for us to study. That's one problem. Um, why it's occurring is we, we, it's just a cycle, it's a population cycle, and they used to be here and they were easy to study um, in Puget Sound because they occurred in relatively shallow areas, which is really unique because most six gills uh, around the world are found at abyssal depths, which means below 3,000 feet. So if you want to study six gills, say in the Mediterranean or Hawaii or anywhere else in the um, world, you have to um, buy a submersible by submersible time, which can be $20,000 a day or, or more. Um, so we're very lucky that we could study six gills in Puget Sound um, within 30 to 60 feet of water. Um, why they are, they are not here all the time and every, uh, why they're not always a continuous supply of six gill sharks at different ages in Puget Sound, we don't know. Um, it could be that um, as we saw the pattern of the juvenile six gills traveled together in family groups, maybe um, as adults they do that too. And so the females might be out there um, in, in the open ocean waiting for um, to come back into Puget Sound as a group. So we don't know why there aren't six gills here all the time at all different age classes, but it seems to be that they're not. Um, and uh, Sharks around uh, throughout the world are in trouble because um, they can't stand uh, a lot of harvest because they're very slow growing, slow to maturity. We think six gills and other large sharks like them aren't, don't become sexually mature until they're in their late teens, maybe early 20s. Um, they don't have a lot of offspring. They can only breed, um, we think, the females every few years. Um, and they're also long lived. So. Uh, if you catch a bunch of large sharks and remove them from an area, it takes a long time for them to um, replace themselves. And some species, they just can't recover from over-harvest due to heavy fishing at all. Uh, citizens in the region are getting involved with six gill shark research by just being interested in them. Um, scuba divers are very interested to dive with six gill sharks. They've never been known to um, attack people. Um, they're large sharks. They're very interesting to watch, very exciting to dive with. They're beautiful animals. So um, we at the aquarium have been educating um, all of our visitors about six gill sharks. Um, in our exhibits, we have a exhibit that talks about six gill research. And um, on our website, we have a, a six gill shark um, diver sighting uh, database. So if a diver sees a six gill shark anywhere in Puget Sound, they can log on to our website and tell us about it. And then we can keep track of all the sightings. Um, so people are interested to see that there's a shark that large that can be up to 14 feet long in Puget Sound that doesn't hurt people and that um, comes within uh, scuba diving depth so it's in re relatively shallow waters 
Um, so citizens are helping by just becoming interested, and also the state is helping a lot by making it illegal uh, to fish for six gills and take them out of the water, Puget Sound. So that right there is going to help them. But also, um, since they're long-lived animals and they're at the top of the food chain, uh, if there are a bunch of chemicals in the water, heavy metals, other pollutants, they tend to um, accumulate it in their tissues. And in fact, the state did um, some testing with six-gill shark, uh, six shark meat, and it had too much mercury for people to consume. So um, we need to help clean up our environment and clean up Puget Sound so that six-gill sharks um, don't become toxic from eating all this stuff, um, eating all the pollutants in the area. So people need to help by cleaning up Puget Sound and um, just being aware that there are large sharks out there. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark. Mama shark do 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 do. Mama shark do 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 do. Mama shark do 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 do. Mama shark. Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark do 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 Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark. Great.